All right, guys, we're back with our new spin-off, The Stacy Show. Uh, or maybe we should just call it Stacy. Stacy's my super fan. Oh, you little monster. Bumpers! I'm going to show you that's how my retrieving training came in handy. It's also how my clumsiness didn't come in handy. All right, but the title of this video is going to be how to introduce the e-collar. And really with this dog, because this is Frosty, one of the puppies, and I want you to know, girl, this is the brother. That's what I'm talking about, the size difference. Um, so I had done like two weeks with this puppy with the IQ, and we can go back and reference that. I need to do a whole playlist of this dog. So I'm really re-introing the collar, but what I want you guys to understand because this dog was introed as a puppy, I'm not gonna, I don't have to do it on the leash because I had done it that way before. But I'm setting up, I'm saying to myself, yes, I probably drew a very vague circle around myself, or I might have drawn a very line towards my, vague line towards myself with the IQ. But you know, my job right now is to create that circle that I can control the dog. That, that I would say to myself, regardless of what happened, I would always be able to make the dog come to me within a certain proximity. And Stacy, uh, I hope that rug wasn't really important to you because I can tell you each one of them has become absolutely fascinated with that rug and made it their mission to destroy. In fact, we're even gonna have a movie called Anyway, so what, what I'm saying to myself though is how to introduce the e-collar. The answer to that question, and there would be a lot of answers, but there's gonna always be one main answer in an uninhibited state of mind because we want to introduce the collar in the state of mind that the collar is going to exist in. I hope you're writing all this down, Summer. Summer's got a notebook everything. She's very pretty handwriting. Summer's very pretty. Um, so that's what I want, though. I don't want to introduce the collar when I've stood there and held the dog on the leash and pulled it around for 10 minutes. And then it's like, who is she? I want to introduce it. I've got the sound box on, too. Remy! That's called fast food. I love it. I love that, don't you, Sam? Yeah. That's what we call the fast food method. That's what people do make up these crazy methods. Quick, little puppy. Um. But again, I'm ta I'm I'm doing everything. I'm not saying, oh, well, he's trained because I worked with him for two weeks. He's trained to come to me. I'm going to do everything in my power to keep reiterating that and and I'm going to also control the dynamic in that I don't want him becoming the rug this is good I'm going to tell you what this is going to be good for this is going to be good to introduce the nick to bumpers because I want you to understand when we want to introduce the nick and this is all going to be in the little videos we want to introduce the Nick when the dog is in an uninhibited state of mind. And that's why I do not believe in standing there. Tritronics, I need to call that guy at Tritronics. There's, there's, he's got, they've only got one professional trainer left on the staff. But this guy's a bird dog guy. He's super bright. We should call him. We couldn't do the video unless we told him we were recording. He might not want that. But, um, ay, ay, ay. Bumpers! Yay, 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 yay. They have a video, and he would probably take it down if I asked where they're standing out there with this bird dog guy. This guy's real old school. You can see it. It's a short hair pointer. And those are known to be pretty sensitive. And then they're just hitting the neck to see when it can fail. it. I'll tell you what we don't do here. Anything even close to that. There's not even any nick with this dog at this point. If I think that's going to stop you. Ay, ay, ay. I'll tell you who's smarter than me. Bunko. <laughs> All right, let's go. So that's what I'm doing. I am... Everything I'm doing is looking for opportunities. If I had three opportunities to help this dog understand in this session what I wanted, I'd be happy with that. I, I don't want 27 times of it. If I did... Remy! I would have moved faster, but Bumpers was blocking me. But it, it all it was all the right, and that's what I would have done when the dog was a puppy. I would have called it and probably run away. I'm going to do a psychic calling. Get on him. Hang on. We're going to do a psychic calling. Get behind him.
starting like on the bottom. Starting now. So his signal's a little slow. His battery's dying. And it really, I think, you know, if that teaches me anything, you guys, it's not really that I'm psychic, but that they're that. And, and he didn't maybe do it right away, but he made himself aware of who I was. And it's, uh, um, Stacey, we got the sound box on, too. We're going to do the sound box for you. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, my fearless little bump bump. Nothing gets the queen of this rug. Maybe just wanted to swing. Um, you know, that's what I'm saying to myself. My job today is not to introduce the Nick. I've got my Nick on zero. I'll tell you when I'm introducing the Nick. Not today. And again, my behavior needs to remain, my behavior needs to remain natural. You know, and I've got that one video where I say, you know, erratic acting handlers, I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you. In fact, I should do that in my tip for top pro thing. Do you know many discipline when the handler acts erratically? Uh, no. In fact, we're taking the show to Europe, Summer. I don't get, I don't care. We're taking this show to Europe, and we're going to interview. We'll get translators. We don't care. We'll use big translators. And we're going to find out what these Europeans say, and I'm going to tell you they're going to say, we have never heard of anything like that. Anything. <laughs> So these are actually both his brothers. The one is older. He blends nicely, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't get that on film. I like Charlie's Angels. Look at it. So what I'm saying to myself is I've got a lot of scenarios right here that would be really easy to set up and that I had probably already done them when the dog was a puppy. Duncan, I mean, I'm working him on the trend of tree. That's going well, but I'm not... Again, what I'm not saying to myself right now is... All right, look, there he goes, there he goes. Remy! So that was a little bit of a flyby, so you do what you don't want. I'll tell you what a recall isn't. A dog is sort of running in your direction real fast, and she... I'll tell you what they call that. They call that a dog shooting off to the side. Come on. So what I want to say to myself is, I need to be more like Calvin Burrell. If you've never seen the Kentucky Derby won by Mind That Bird, if anybody ever said to me, you know, something was impossible, I would say that right there is proof positive to me that it isn't. The horse was in last place. It was described as well behind the rest of the pack. And I think its odds were 100 to 1 or something. And then, of course, the announcer doesn't see it because they're looking at the horses in front. But you see him start to weave in between. He has to go around one horse. He gets up back on the rail. And then the announcer still doesn't even see him. And now then he makes a sort of a secretariat-like finish. Mm -hmm. I love that. In fact, oh, they made a movie about that. I'm trying to find that. Let's yeah. find it online. I wonder if it's out online yet. There's a movie on Redbox. Yeah, okay, you saw it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. The horse was 50 to 1 because that's what it was called. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I've got a couple jobs. Part of my job is helping to socialize this dog. All right, now I see a good opportunity.
to tell you what that is, Stacy. I mean, and we're going to put him up here because it's all that is is because he's out of balance. He's like the kid that you take to Disney World and give him a soda and then you take him out and put him on a ride. You know, he couldn't do that in the pond, you know, where we could feed our fish. <laughs> but I got some good, I got some good. All right, look, and I got Duncan over there. I'll tell you what I don't want him is eating that dog food. Duncan! So you do have to have a little, and I don't, you know, I've always got a thing that I say, you guys. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Holy crap, he's trying to get your attention. Is that what it was? I think so. Your bass um, trying to jump out of the water at you. How terrifying. <laughs> um. Right, let me see if I can psychic my deaf dog again. Starting. I don't know what to tell you guys. I, maybe I am psychic. I don't know. I thought it was just that. Oh my God, he's doing absolutely fantastic. I'm not. Looking, I'm not looking to do any more than that right there. I could do one more little. If I if I get if I get the right angle, I'm gonna do it. If I don't have the right angle, so that's what I'm talking about. Mind that boat. I need a clear, unobstructed pathway to get to the to get him to the front of the path. So that's your job. My job is to look for that. Anyway, they have the scary, oh my God, Stacey, you better watch out. Hopefully they catch him by the time you see this video. Uh, scary, straight out of central casting looking inmate that walked off the work release. And everybody's saying, oh, the guy that was watching him, before you say he didn't do his job, here's what the job is. And I said, well, unless the job is, uh, one of them disappeared, call 911, then you didn't do your job. All right, this is, the, uh, Duncan's playing the role of Barkley, so I'm gonna, I'm fitting him. I'm looking for my angle though. I'm, I'm increasing my distance and I'm looking for my angle. was a case of mistaken handler, and that is going to happen. You need to be ready to resolve it again. I didn't say, well, he's going to mistakenly go to serve. What I did, and, and what if you do have somebody filming or the training director, that person should always stay still. I'll tell you what people want to do. Summer wouldn't do this, but this would be if we had like a new intern. Oh, go over there. Go to her. Go to her. Start making themselves very, you know. And then I'll tell you what the dog does. Stay by them. Remy back in before he barfs. Oh, this video will be called. Oh, I'm trying to come up with simple, catchy titles. What about Remy barfs?